Welcome back, Summit County. You're watching Summit Sunrise this morning. I'm Lauren. I am again joined by Bill. We moved locations, so maybe we can yeah. like pretend that yeah. <laughs> it's a different day or something. I don't know. Yeah. I was about to ask how you are, but I'm assuming you're still great since we I'm talked about well. 10 minutes ago. Yeah, happy belated birthday, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, because um, yeah, I've been saying on TV that you have so many events going on in September, and I feel like you planned them all just for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We did. We had, we, it was part of the equation for sure yeah yeah absolutely um, how was Oktoberfest did you come down I certainly did I was here Friday Saturday and Sunday right. so I got a little taste of all three days it was fun wasn't it perfect weather yeah it was it yes was. it was shout I, out to oh sorry oh, yeah yeah shout out to Sandy Gavin and Sydney our events team and then the whole BTO team for putting on a great event oh yeah yeah and I, I feel like they must work for months to put on Oktoberfest. It's incredible. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> no, and Sandy, she's already planning, you know, next year's. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Truly. Day after Oktoberfest yeah. on the calendar, start yeah. planning Oktoberfest. Yeah, re re excuse me, recap meetings and review meetings that have already <laughs> taken place. So it's, yeah, it was a good event. Awesome. So yeah. tell me about some other events that are going on in Breckenridge. Uh, let's see. Also, a shout out to Scott Fortner and the marketing team, Rachel and Steven as well, too, because they just wrapped up Camp 9600, which was a fun event. You know, so hopefully there was some impact in town. I know it's it's a very unique environment and they had some great stories. There's even people here talking about Oregon and how tourism has impacted that state right before Governor's Conference came to town today. So yeah. you'll see people coming in, um, tourism throughout the state of Colorado. So they start arriving today. Uh, there's a welcome event at the Riverwalk Center today, uh, tonight as well too. So um, town will fill up again. Town will fill up again. Yeah. I actually saw all over my Facebook posts from people that went to Camp 9600. So I'm certain that they had a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was about. It was a fun event, storytelling, and really, you know, really looking at the big picture of, you know, marketing and tourism. So it was, yeah, it was a fun event for those guys. Cool, cool. Yeah. And then we're going to have people coming in again. So yeah. um, what else is going on? Yeah, Governor's <laughs> Conference, again, 500 people. Um, they'll be coming in tonight, Riverwalk event, and then they'll be coming into town for dinner. So okay. there'll be a lot of people in for dinner. And then Thursday, conferencing all day. Friday, they finish up. Friday afternoon, probably around 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock and beyond, they're going to do a scavenger hunt around Breckenridge. So they're cool. another way to get people into town. So look for people looking for little things. The sales team, Donna and her crew, so shout out to those folks, Michael, um, Stacy as well, too, uh, for their event work, um, scavenger hunt in Breckenridge. So look for those folks being around town. It should be fun. And then also the weekend, you got the Breckenridge Film Festival. Yep. of course um, and then a new event the Breckenridge Wine Classic so uh, the weekend's gonna be a lot of fun tell me a little bit more about the Breckenridge Wine Classic well the Wine Classic you know it's a brand new event mm -hmm. um, the folks that put that event on it's it's a very professionally run event because they also do the one in Steamboat and then they do some other events as well too so it's a brand new event uh, brought into town to really to really work with film festival and really put the two together so that they can build attendance and awareness for a film festival as well as this new event so they have like grand tastings going on um, a lot of things around town and then Beaver Run and then um, there's just events that they have all over town that are kind of timed with how the film festival will work this weekend as well too so it should be should be interesting so that people can do both wine and film cool yeah. i feel like that goes hand in hand it does doesn't <laughs> it throw in some food and and you got a good mixture yeah cool so a lot going on in Breckenridge. If people want to find out more information, how can they find out more? GoBreck.com slash events, our events calendar. Uh, you can filter by what type of activities you'd like to do, so you can do specifically events, or if you want to know about things that are happening at the rec center, uh, things that are happening with the Heritage Alliance in town, what's happening at Breckreate and what they have going on, you can filter by certain events, and, and you'll get more information well you can get lost in there truly you can definitely get lost in there because there's so much going on all yeah. the time <laughs> we, we, that's the way we want it right you know it's it's entertainment for the visitors <laughs> never a dull moment here right? in, in Breckenridge um, well Bill again thank you so much for telling us all about what's going on around town yes thanks for having me yeah um, we'll be back with Bill again tomorrow all so right. we'll have to think of more things to talk about there's no, there's always something to talk oh, about yeah, with there's Bill. More. There's, there's more. There's more. Yeah. So make sure you tune in. We haven't in. talked about October yet. Yeah, <laughs> I know. We're still, we're still in September. Um, anyway, we're going to take a short break, but I want to remind you, Watch and Win is coming up, um, I think right after the break, actually, and we're giving away a $25 gift certificate to Downstairs at Eric's, um, and they are, they were nominated, they have been, they they've are been big, one of the yeah, <laughs> customer service big, champions. <laughs> they've been a big supporter of our One Breakfast program. Like they've been nominated, but then they also won. So yeah. Okay. So we're taking a short break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs>